Okay, here's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to solve some story problems with inequalities, okay? I earn $12 per hour at my job. My goal is to earn $400 for the week. Write and solve an inequality that gives how many full hours I need to work to meet my goal. So goal is circled. Now, that green, get out that green sheet I gave you yesterday, and you see that goal, you use the greater than or equal to sign. And your goal is $400. Now, go to the problem and find all the money amounts other than 400. You have 12. Okay. Now, it says $12 per hour, but I don't know how many hours I'm going to work. So, that's 12 times X. So, that's just going to be 12X. Okay. Now, all you need to do here, you're multiplying numbers. It, you have multiplication, but it's by a positive. Okay. And you just are going to, so you're going to leave the sign the same and you're going to divide. So I have x. And I take 400 divided by 12. And that's 33.3. Now, when the sign points that way, okay, when it opens up towards the x, you need to not put a decimal. You need to put 34. Okay, you got to go up one. Okay, 33. Instead of 33, one more than 33 is 34. So you can work 34 hours or anything more, okay? Okay, next problem. My goal is to earn $500 at my job for the week. I make $15 per hour, write and solve an inequality, find how many full hours I'd need to work to meet my goal. There's goal, so greater than or equal to, and our goal is $500. Now remember, find money amounts in the problem. You just have the 15. So it's 15 per hour. Do I know how many hours I'm going to be working? Nope. So it's going to be X. Okay. So we'll write that as 15X because 15 times X is 15X. And then my multiple, I have multiplication, but it's a positive, so the sign stays the same. Okay. You can just go right to your dividing. And we have X over here. Line that up. And 500 divided by 15. Remember, again, you're talking about greater than. So what's the first number, whole number, greater than 33? It would be 34. And there we have it. The answers are not always 34. Pause the video, do number 2. Okay, now here's our next problem. Okay. I go to a store with $50 that says have. You have $50. I'm buying Snickers and Three Musketeers. Snickers cost $3.99 per bag. Three Musketeers cost $4.99 per bag. I know I'm going to buy eight bags of Snickers. Right and solve an inequality that gives how many full bags of Three Musketeers that I can afford to buy. So have, the word have means we make a less than or equal to sign. Okay, Have means less than or equal. So how much do you have? You have $50. Now, like in the last pack, it lists the dollars, but you see there's two dollar rates. You got $3.99 and you got $4.99. Okay. Now, what's the $3.99 for? That's for the Snickers. How many, how many Snickers am I buying? I'm buying eight. Okay. So I can times that by eight. So I cross those two money amounts. I've already written them down. I cross out the eight. Now, the four ninety nine. What am I buying for four ninety nine? Three Musketeers. Okay. Well, I don't know how many bags of Three Musketeers I'm going to buy. It's not three. Okay. That's the name of the candy bar. So if you don't know that, you're going to put an X label. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take first. I'm going to take three point ninety nine times eight. Okay. Thirty one point ninety two. And then here I can't multiply, so I just write 499x. So down here I write 499x first plus 3192. Okay, that doesn't have an x because we got we didn't need an x. We knew both things. Okay, now you have multiplication, but it's a positive, so the sign stays the same. First you have to subtract before you divide because you have plus and multiplication. So line your sign up, because I don't come back down here until I'm dividing. 
minus 3192 is going to be 18.08. And then you divide, okay? You have x. And again, now, now it's a less than, okay? If it's a less than sign, you don't go one up from three. You just put three down, okay? Because that means that's all you can afford to buy, less than or equal to three. Okay, next problem. I work two jobs, okay? I make $11.25 per hour at High V. I I make $10 per hour at Bombgars. My goal for the week is to earn $450. I know I'm slated to work 25 hours at Bombgars, write and solve an inequality that gives how many full hours I would be, need to work at High V to meet my goal. So goal is greater than or equal to, look at that green sheet, and our goal is $450. So cross that out. Okay, so find me two money amounts, because this is a dollars amount. So find me two dollars amounts that are going to help me meet my goal. We got eleven twenty-five and we've got ten. Now we're going to make those multiple times. Eleven twenty-five, that's per hour at high V. Okay, how many hours are we working at high V for? I don't think they ever told us because that 25 is for bomb guards. So high V is the X. And then let's look at our ten, our uh, ten dollars. That was for hours at bomb guards. So how many uh, hours do I work at bomb guards? 25. So I make that 10 times 25. So I can't multiply here. I need to write 11.25 X, and over here 10 times 25 would be 250. So over on this side, I write the expression 11.25x plus 250. And now x is multiplied, but it's by a positive, so I keep the sign the same. Then I minus 250, minus 250. That's 200. Then on here, we got 11.25x. Okay, then it's dividing by 11.25. So 200 divided 11.25, and this time it opens up towards the x, the sign does. So I need to take the 17 up one full number, so it goes to 18. So you'd have to work 18. How many full hours? You'd have to work 18 or anything more than 18 to meet your goal. Pause the video and do that problem right there. You got goal again. I'm going to read it for you. Okay, and then this gets you ready for tomorrow a little bit. It's a little bit of introduction. It says, write an inequality for each graph. Now, this time you have two circles. Neither one of them are filled in, and it's between two numbers, negative 2 and 4. Okay? Here's what you need to put. You need to put x down one time, not twice, one time. You're going to put the 4 on this side, the negative 2 on the other. And here's all you do. Okay? When it goes this way from the negative 2, remember on your little green paper, when it goes this way, it's got to open up towards the x. So open it towards the x. But when we go this way, it has to open towards the number. Okay? So the signs actually look the same. We don't put lines underneath because the circles aren't filled in. And that's the inequality. Okay, next one. You got x, you have negative 12, you have negative 5. When it goes this way, it has to open towards the x. When it goes this way, it has to open towards the number. Okay, put lines underneath them this time because the circles are filled in. They're not empty like they are here. Okay, so x, I put 3, 14. Going this way has to open towards the x with the line because you have a circle. Going this way has to open towards the number. Okay, not with a line though because it's empty. Okay. 
Okay, going this way, open it towards the X. This way, open it towards the number. Okay, the signs should actually be going the same direction in these. Negative 5, X, that tells people in mathematical terms that X is between negative 5 and positive 2. <coughs> Now, you're taking the inequality and graphing it. That means with the number line, you're going to put 0 in the middle, and we put negative 4 here and 8 here. Circle both of them. Okay, when I look at these, it opens up towards the x. That means it goes this way. This way, it opens towards the numbers. So this time, it's going this way. Then we just keep going until they, they connect. Okay. So 5 and 12. Okay, it's opening up to the x, so it goes this way. Here it's opening to the number, so it goes this way. Just like that. Okay, 0. Negative. Now they're both negative, that's okay. Negative 16 is way out here, negative 2 is here. Okay, this one's opening towards the x, so this way. This is opening up towards the number, so this way. Okay, negative 5 and positive 17. We're going to fill both those in. Opens towards the x this way. Opens towards the number this way. Okay. All right, now you got some application problems. It says, write each statement as inequality, graph the solution. You're actually, we're going to graph it first. That's the easiest way, okay? Speed limit is between 50 and 80, okay? So I'll put a zero right there, and then we'll put 50 and 80. Now, if it's between 50 and 80, that means we just go in between them and make a line, okay? Now, to write the inequality, you put x, or any letter you want, you put 50 on one side, 80 on the other. When it goes this way, we open the up towards the x, but when it goes back this way, we got to open it towards the number. That's it. Temperatures between 10 degrees and 60 degrees. So 10 and 60. You're not going to have any negatives on these, most likely. When you do a story, a word problem, you're going to fill in your circles too, always. Okay, so X, I put 10 and 60. Okay, going this way, we open it towards the X with the line because it's filled in. Going this way, we open it towards the number. Okay, there it is. X is between 10 and 60. Okay, the percent for an A is between 93 and 100. So number line. So 93 this way, 100, both of them. Now write the inequality set algebra sentence. You got X, you got 93 on one side, 100 on the other. Going this way, we open it towards the X. Sign opens up to the X. Going this way, it opens up to the 100. The air pressure of a basketball is between 7.5 and 8.5. Um, so. so we got 7.5 and 8.5. Okay, between them. Now write the sentence. Okay, not really a sentence. Well, it is kind of a sentence. So going this way, we open up towards the X, but going back this way, open up towards the number, okay? As you can see on all these, the signs are going the same way, okay? All right, and that's it.